Hey, good morning, everybody. Justin here from Budget Barbecue. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. Today is going to be a fun, fun day. Uh, we're going to have some family coming over later this evening for some barbecue. So uh, we're going to do some racks of ribs, some pulled pork. Um, everybody's seen rib videos. Everybody's seen pulled pork videos. So today we're going to kind of do something a little different. We're going to do a little taste testing. Um, I have a couple of different types of ribs that I'm going to do, some different rubs. Uh, we're going to do one more of like an Asian style. Um, and then we're going to use the... Um, we're going to use a special rub for the pulled pork. So uh, I'm going to take you all along. We're going to get started here in a little bit. Um, I got a few things I got to do around the house here before we get started. So uh, just want to do a little intro real quick and uh, we'll pick back up here in a little bit. So far, all I've done really is uh, cleaned off the rack's ribs, washed them all off really well. Same with the pork butt. So they're uh, totally rinsed off. They're, you know, air drying in the fridge. And uh, we'll pull those back out as we're getting closer. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? So we got the smoker going here. Um, I just wanted to show you the firebox real quick. I'm kind of running a little test uh, to kind of see how things go. So let me flip the camera around real quick, and I can show you what's going on. So I don't know if you can see in the firebox there what I actually did. Um, I'm going to flip this So around. I was watching uh, Stone Mountain Barbecue the other day, and he was talking about how he had made this uh, wire box uh, to, you know, kind of test the fuel theory inside of his uh, offset smoker. So I don't have a wire basket, but I wanted to kind of test the same theory, sort of like that minion method or snake method, um, where I kind of just lit a handful of, of charcoal briquettes, probably about 12, um, and then put a really good solid base of charcoal inside the uh, firebox. And then I, what I did was, is I put the briquettes kind of in the center and then circled my smoking wood chunks around that um, to kind of see if we can't do like a slow cook and kind of set the temperature and then get it to kind of stay there so we don't have to monitor it so much but I have no idea if this is going to work I'm kind of just running a little test like uh, like my buddy over there at Stone Mountain Barbecue the other day so uh, we'll see how it goes I'm using some pecan and cherry wood chunks today want a little bit lighter flavor smoke uh, we're doing a pork butt and some different types of ribs. We'll get into the ribs a little bit later on, but uh, we're just going to see how the smoker dials in here. So uh, check back with you in a little bit. All right, y'all. So we're a couple hours into the cook here, and uh, the firebox test is not quite going as I had hoped. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around here so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to only open it briefly because I don't want to... Uh, let too much of the heat out or disrupt it too much but uh i'll i'll flip it around let you guys check it out and then we'll talk about it all right so as you can kind of see here what's actually happened i started in the center right here and it's kind of moved this way rather than kind of spreading evenly throughout the whole thing so um it is starting to kind of filter towards the uh towards the actual chamber here so it is working in theory but um not way I was hoping for, but that's okay. We're still cooking, so I'm gonna close this guy up. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick peek what we got going on here. Uh, so we got a uh, pulled pork over here, and then we got three different types of ribs. We're kind of doing some taste testing today. Um, you can already start to see a little break in some of these, uh, especially those ones back there. Um, this one I'm particularly excited about and we'll kind of get to that later as far as what's there and what we're doing So I'm gonna close this up. We'll check back in a little bit All right, folks here. She is in all her glory And I apologize because my stove lamp is out But this is an Asian version of uh, a rack of ribs that I did today and what I started with uh, my rub was the five spice powder and then I made a the sauce that you see that's tacked on here. I took a mixture of this gochujang hot and sweet sauce, some soy sauce. I actually used sesame oil to as my binder for the seasoning. And then in addition to these two things in the sauce, between the soy sauce and the gochujang, I also added a little bit of lime juice just to kind of add a little freshness to it. So uh, I'm gonna cut off a little sample here and uh, we'll see how they turned out. I'm so excited. All right, folks, before we bite into this, I just wanted you to see, you know, as you can see where my fingers are, some good pullback on the bone. 
Got a really nice smoke ring in there. Very impressed with that. So uh, I can't wait anymore. Let's let's try this out. All right, folks. The moment of truth is here. Let's see how our Asian style ribs turned out with the gochi jang. I mean, look at the glaze on that. I, I have to say, I'm just pretty stinking proud of myself. That just looks like picture perfect. All right, here we go. So what's really cool about this is I get that little bit of sesame from the sesame oil that I used as a binder. It's really awesome. It's not overly hot, you know. Uh, I probably could have allowed the Gochi Jang to be stronger, more prominent, but uh, that five spice as a as the rub for this, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to pause y'all for just a moment because I'm about to finish this off. All right, folks. Well, we're just wrapping up here. As you can tell, those uh, those Asian style ribs turned out really good. I would highly encourage any of you to give those a try. That recipe was fantastic. Um, the uh, the pulled pork is finishing up in the oven. Actually, um, I got it up to about 155 on the grill. And uh, I just didn't want to waste any more fuel, so uh, I decided to go ahead and polish it off in the oven. So um, everybody's seen pulled pork. There's nothing special there. So uh, I'm probably not going to include that towards the end of the video here. Um, the real focus today was on the ribs, especially on that Asian one in particular. Uh, the last thing I wanted to mention before we finish up today, I just want to give a huge thanks to uh, Jaina and David at Dragon Knuckle. Um, these are, uh, really nice barbecue gloves. These actually literally just came today. Um, I was doing some cast iron cornbread, um, and I could literally pick my smoldering wood chunks up with these things and, uh, felt no heat, uh, whatsoever. Uh, also had these on when I was stoking the fire in the, in the firebox. Um, really good, really nice gloves. I think these are available on Amazon for around 30 bucks. Um, so anyway, big shout out to them. Thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate that. And, uh, for those of you that are just tuning in for the first time, welcome. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Uh, comments, questions, concerns, you know, definitely let me know. Um, always looking for new ideas and some fun stuff. Uh, I know my buddy over there at uh, Mega Fred Zeppelin is getting ready to do a tag video pretty soon. So uh, looking forward to uh, being involved in that. But uh, thank you so much again for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy.